He doesn't just go drink beers with the boys, make TikToks, and think he could show up at the ballpark and just be good. None of them do. They're good because they work at it and they want to be better. They want to be, each one of them want to be the best player to ever play the game. And you can't just think you're going to be that and show up to the ballpark. It's not going to happen. But, it, that, but that should start in high school. If this is what you want to do, and I'm, I'm, I'm being honest, if this is what you want to do, you have to commit to the weight room, to the work ethic, to drills, not playing in games. You have to, you have to commit to the grind. Going out and playing four games on the weekend is not the grind. The grind is going and do the, the things that suck, like going to hit off a tee, 100, 100 swings off a tee. Do you think you would benefit more from two straight days of just offense and defensive work or two playing six games in a weekend? The work. How are you going to get better? How many balls are actually hit to you in a game? How many swings do you get in a game? Not a lot. That's what I'm saying. You need to work. You need you need the reps. Not that the games aren't Everybody's bad. Everybody's saying reps. Oh, they need game reps. They need game reps. But are you really getting enough reps in the games? No, you're not. Like, I could still... I you're, could put a pitching machine up throwing 85. I could put it at whatever you want. I could put it at a slider. I could put it at a curveball. I could put whatever you want. Yeah, I know it's not an arm, but you're seeing velocity. You're seeing movement. You're seeing spin. Like, wh that's what I... A lot of these guys, and not a lot of them, but they're like, oh, I want to I want to see an arm. We're hitting off a machine. How many times do you watch the BP in here and then the guy's got the machines out there and they're hitting off a machine? A lot. Yeah, they do hit off arms in BP. I get that. But the early work and stuff comes off a machine. It's velo It's something. It's velo. You're seeing a moving baseball. That is a rep. Just because it's not an arm doesn't mean that it's not any different. You can get more out of that in practice than you can in a game. Because you can take a, you can swing at a pitch and then you can stop, talk about it, figure it out. Go on. In a game, you can't do that. We're not making in-game adjustments pitch to pitch with a coach or, you know, you have to do that by yourself. But if you're not used to doing that by yourself in a cage, in a, in a, in a surroundings of you and your hitting coach and understanding your body and what went wrong, then you can't make those pitch to pitch adjustments in a game. Wh where are you getting your reps? No, let's be honest. You just want to get seen by somebody. That's all it is while you're playing these games and travel ball and all this. You just want to be seen. You just want to be seen. But guess what happens when you're seen and you have to go somewhere and then put in the work? You're not ready for it. You're not prepared for it. Everybody can see you anywhere. Everybody posts their cages and their work and all that kind of stuff. I'll tell you what, if, I, if, I'm, a, if I'm a Division I hitting coach or a Division I recruiting coordinator and I just see – your game footage of you're good at bats. I'm, I'm just going to be like, well, I don't want that. Show me your full round in the cage off a tee. And I, if you can't hit a ball eight out of 10 times of the back net, then your swing isn't consistent enough.